Well, hello there. New Melon Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll show you a render settings for my project. Today, we will be working with this modern minimalist uh, lake house, and the shot we're looking for is um, a morning shot. So let's start by uh, creating our base render as usual. Let's put it in here. And the copy of the same thing. And we can start applying our effects too. So once again, we'll uh, use one of the uh, styles from uh, Lumion 8, and in our case, uh, overcast uh, preset style. What we're looking for is uh, a dramatic, uh, cloudy uh, shot with a little bit of fog coming in into the uh, into our shot from uh, from the background. So uh, we're using this uh, overcast uh, preset and I will start uh, modifying it one by one. There is one uh, more uh, effect I need to uh, add and that is a two point uh, perspective. So let's turn that on straight away, uh, all the way up. And you can see now we have uh, all the lines uh, vertical. All right, I'll start with the sky and clouds. We'll come back to the fog a little later on and um, Let's adjust the, the skies first. Now I want to bring down the amount of low clouds somewhere around there, as you can see, just barely on um, the background uh, peeking through the clouds and uh, a little bit of the master amount as well. Somewhere around there. Uh, I'm going to bring the brightness of the sky uh, down, which will give us a little bit more contrast on the clouds. So let's bring it uh, down somewhere around here. You're gonna lose a little bit of light as you can see in here, but we're gonna add it on a little later in our color correction. And I think the rest of it, overall brightness, maybe just a little bit up somewhere around there. So uh, for now we are okay with the uh, sky and clouds. Uh, moving on to, uh, to our sun. As you can see, this uh, is pretty dark, so let's bring a little bit of uh, sun brightness, but not too much, just, just a little bit. And I would like the sun to uh, be coming from my right uh, today, so we get some uh, shadows uh, from the house uh, on this uh, large uh, lawn portion uh, in the picture. So let's uh, move around the sun heading. Somewhere around there, as you can see, it's coming around the house nicely. It gives us uh, nice uh, contrasty uh, features on our house uh, as well. Um, perhaps the sun height just a little bit up, like that. And we are done with the uh, sun effect, moving on to a sharpening tool. This is very easy and straightforward, just uh, bring the intensity up a little bit. Exposure always as last, color correction. Now let's adjust the, um, the clouds and, and the rest of it. The first thing what I'm going to do is bring the saturation down somewhere around here. Uh, I'll explain uh, because later on we're going to add uh, a fog and as we know in the foggy day uh, Basically, you lose uh, color in your scene, so we don't want any vivid uh, colors uh, in our picture today. Perhaps gamma down a little bit as well, just to create a dramatic contrast in here. And we'll bring the brightness up to get a little bit of light into uh, our picture. And the contrast uh, as well. Now it's getting more dramatic. Uh, moving on to uh, our reflection. We have a couple of uh, glass surfaces and reflective surfaces in here today, so let's start uh, picking them up. There is a little corner window in here, along with the, uh, with the doors. And we have a glass railing in here on the top, and I can see um, there is a pool in front of the house. So I think that's all from reflective surfaces we have in here. We can actually even uh, Choose these uh, these two because they are made of uh, black marble, so it gives us a little bit of a uh, reflection on that one. 
Okay, uh, don't forget to switch on the speed ray reflections and moving on to our next um, effect that is a hyperlight. I don't have to adjust uh, this today at all because as you can see we will basically not see into the interior almost at all. There will be a, this glass will be reflecting the, the light uh, anyway. So we'll just leave it as it is. And the skylight, same thing in here. Uh, the house is not surrounded by uh, too many reflective surfaces. Uh, there will be almost no reflection from the grass. So we can leave the, the presets uh, as it is. We're just going to turn on the uh, planer and project the reflections on and the quality of the render to uh, high. Those two effects, as I always mention in my tutorials, uh, the results or the changes you will not be able to see in your viewer, so you need to do a couple of uh, test renders to see uh, the changes. Moving on to uh, shadows, let's adjust this uh, dark portion of our house in here. Now, coloring, I'm going to bring it uh, down a little bit, uh, which means the, the shadows will be uh, a little warmer as I uh, mentioned, uh, the shot is uh, not early in the morning, but a little bit in the morning, which means the, the sun is still uh, kind of warm. Despite the fact we'll have uh, some fog in here, which will make the, uh, the light uh, more diffuse and uh, towards the blue spectrum, we still want uh, the coloring to be uh, down here, just a, a little, you know, subtle, um, uh, warmer shadows in here. So let's bring the, uh, the brightness up so we got some details. Uh, into our house as you can see uh, in here uh, interior exterior obviously we bring it up all the way to uh, to exterior as we are shooting uh, or taking a picture of the exterior shot and turning on the soft and fine detail shadows on as well perhaps a little a little less to keep the contrast in uh, on the house next stop chromatic aberrations this is already set uh, from uh, from Lumion, so you don't have to touch on that. And the depth of field. Now I want this this branch uh, from the tree to be blurred, so basically the, the whole foreground, so it is not uh, drawing attention uh, to it. So let's bring the amount of blur up. And the slider for foreground and background somewhere around here. Uh, first quarter of, uh, of the foreground, so uh, straight away you can see the um, the foreground, also the branch, which is in the, in the front, will be blurred, and the um, the main portion of the house and the immediate background behind the house will be sharp, and the further background will be again blurred a little bit as well. Let's adjust the uh, focusing distance. Just put it somewhere in the in the middle of the house and turn it on. So we're done with that and we said we'll come back to fog to adjust that. As you can see there is just a little bit and it's too far away. So let's bring the density and the fall off as well. I want to see the sky. I want the, the fog to be just crawling uh, around, the, um, around the ground or just close to the, to the ground coming uh, from the trees uh, behind. So you want to bring the, the fall off somewhere around here, quite high. So you keep the, the sky clear, but you still can see the, the amount of fog in here. Let's bring the brightness up to make it a little thicker. And let's just dial down and move it a little backwards. There we go. So we still can see uh, the house uh, nice and clear, but you can see the, from the background the, the fog is coming out of the, the park or, or forest behind the house perhaps just a little bit back, there we go. So the, the house is nice and uh, visible and, and the fog is kind of uh, blending with the, with the background. We're done in there and let's have a look if we need to adjust a little bit of the exposure, perhaps just a tad uh, down to make it more contrasty. Let me just quickly double check uh, if we need to adjust any of these parameters, perhaps let's have a look at the, uh, the, s the brightness of the sky. If we bring it down, we're going to get a little bit more contrast on, on the sky, on the clouds. So they look a little more dramatic. And let's bring the uh, exposure back up so we don't lose uh, the light and detail uh, in, uh, on our house. 
So there we are. And let's have a look what we're going to get today for our render. Once again, thanks for watching guys. Stay well and stay creative.